What up, y'all? And welcome back to another pigeon hunt, baby. We're back in the field. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed the last one with Gerald and I. Today, I have not done this in quite some time. Today's a solo hunt. Uh, no dog. Why, you ask? Because there's a highway right behind me, and I do not want to mess with a dog getting ran over. Just got done putting up the decoys. This is what we got. Uh, we're gonna put the old flock of flicker right over here. How about that? How about that? Okay, we got all the full bodies out. Only one mojo. Last hunt, y'all know that I used two. Well, I just broke <laughs> my second one. Great, but it uh, feels amazing to be out in the field. The birds should be flying literally any minute. I'm gonna sit down, get my gun loaded up, and we're gonna try to trick these birds. Uh, obviously, I hunted this field one other time. Uh, me and Gerald shot almost, probably right at 60. <sighs> but, a little solo hunt. If you guys are new to the channel, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. Waterfowl hunting, dove hunting, mostly wing shooting, plus a lot of guided hunts where you guys are gonna learn just as much as I do along the way, all season long, every single, every single year. But I do want to uh, say thank you guys for being here. Uh, I really appreciate you all. Let's have some fun, at least try to. With hunting them a couple days ago, I hope that we can pull some of them down. The only thing I'm mildly counting on is that we shot a lot of young, young, dumb birds last time. So I'm hoping we shoot something. Oh, check her out, boys. I got the old Franky girl, uh-huh. I used her last time and like just absolutely fell back in love with her. Y'all know I've been wielding the old SB3 uh, all last season, but man, I picked up the Franck and I can't put her down. She's just too good. So, I'll be sporting her. By the way, that Make It Rain barrel sticker, over at Ducks Waterfowl, we got a lot of different barrel stickers and a lot of different merch that you, probably a lot of y'all that haven't been here since last season haven't seen yet. I'll link it all down at the top of the description below. Use code BOB, B-O-B -B, at checkout to save yourself, your friends and family all season long, all year long. Uh, doesn't matter how big your card is, save yourself some money. Use code BOB at checkout. Don't forget that code so when you do your Christmas shop, you can use it and save old Charlie boy some money and get him some more stuff. We got uh, duck calls, goose calls, about anything you'd want for the old duck hunting season. Got three up top. Ooh, the, the one's reacting really well. Here we go. First bird down. Yeah, yeah. We puffed him, boys. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you know what that means. They're gonna start coming hot and heavy. That single gave it up. I always say first bird to the field could be banded. It always happens that way. Smash the thumbs up button, guys. I missed that first shot. That was a bad, bad deal. <laughs> Here we go. Not banded. We're gonna leave our birds out in the spread today because I'm telling you what, I promise you it helps. Having actual birds out in the spread always helps. Ouch. Uh, man, I miss Fred already. But when you're leaving birds out in the field, it's hard to have dogs because they mistake a bird shot just now for an old bird. It becomes real confusing for a dog. So on the board, Again, guys, smash the thumbs up button if you're glad the pigeon hunting's back. I've had so many of you be like, Bob, I haven't been here all summer. I'm back. I'm ready for the hunting videos. Guys, they're coming. We're going to North Dakota in less than, well, like three weeks. Crazy. Yep, we'll be shooting them honkers real soon, y'all. Oh, boy, we got a big group coming from the back, boys. Right here over top. Oh, we might pull one off of it. Another single. 
on the left coming. Yeah, he's coming fast. Oh, finally got him on the third shot. I don't know why I'm missing those first shots, but Bob, you gotta quit that. This is gonna get expensive. There we go. Here's another single coming on the left again. Three shots for that one bird. Oh man, my percentage is not looking too good. Here we go. He did. Three birds down. We're gonna go grab him. Yeah! He was a longer shot there. That was every bit of where are we at. I don't know. Young bird, that's what I was saying. We're only pulling singles at a time, and it's the young ones. If that one over there is young, all three birds that we have on the ground are literally just young birds. Makes for good hunting. Yep, there we go. Another juvenile bird. Three young, young birds. <sighs> Last night I was debating coming. And uh, I think I thought about it so much on whether or not I should hunt or not this morning. I didn't set an alarm last night. I literally just woke myself up at five and was like, go. Hunting's on my mind bad. I am so ready for the season. Well, I do not believe that we're gonna have nearly the reaction that, that Gerald and I did the other day on the first hunt on this field. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta scout them next because they have definitely switched their fly line. I just seen a group of about 50 fly about two, 300 yards south of me. So they are probably concentrated on a different field already. But again, I didn't scout. I was just like, I'm gonna try it. Hope y'all appreciate that. But this is the blind situation, y'all. I love this little camo net. I've had it for a long time. I always take a T-post or a couple T-posts, and this is all you need. This is great for dove hunting setup. Uh, actually, right here, I'm using a mojo pole, so anything works, honestly easy peasy you know like I always have told you guys don't think about it too much if you have permission on a field if you're good to go give it a try because a lot of times on them kind of unplanned like on a whim hunts I'm telling you I've had my best hunts when it wasn't completely planned you know what I mean now being a guide and having sand hill now my guide service everything has to be planned but I can remember back in the day those on the whim, like, hey boys, let's just try it hunts that worked out. We're always the best. Here we go. Here's a group of about 15 above us. Let's see if any of them are interested at all. Nothing. That's the reaction right there that I was honestly expecting. People might think pigeons are dumb, but when you hunt them once, they smarten up. I'm telling you. Put it this way. Uh, two days ago, that hunt with Gerald where we shot 60 has been the best hunt for quite some time. That being said, last year, many hunts we put up 100 or years before that, 200. That don't happen anymore. Pretty sure we are deplenishing the old pigeon nuisance invasive population <laughs> every year. I, know the I do know the business owners uh, appreciate it. Oh, he landed. Move, bud. <laughs> yeah, you. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> we tricked him good enough to land him and shoot him in the decoys. Wonder if I shot that decoy or not. We better check. Boy, he gave it up nicely. Guarantee you, he's a really young bird. What do you think? Let's check him. Did I hit the decoy? Oh, uh, yep, right there. There's one pellet in it. Oh, there's a few more. Ah, uh, you're all right, little buddy. There he is. Completely gave it up. Another really, really young bird. Who would have known? Oh, there's a good group coming. Shoot! Crud. Darn it, Bob. Darn it, Bob. What are you thinking, boy? Well, a little bit of ground swatting action, which brings me to my next thought. Preston and I, we have the old podcast in. I know a lot of you have heard my spiel, but we made, uh, we made a podcast and it was all about is ground, ground pounding, water swatting, Arkansasing, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, is it ethical? <laughs> we made it free to the public. That one episode uh, I'll try to make sure that it is linked down below. The podcast is always linked down below. Uh, you can just click on the link and then go find the free episode. Uh, we made it free just to uh, show you guys what it's like over there. I do recommend you be over 18 though. The language is a little thick. But if you guys are enjoying the pigeon hunt, we're four birds in, that equals another thumbs up. Come on y'all, help me out. Off season has been a struggle. I'm glad y'all are here. <laughs> here we go. That's a pretty bird. Oh. He's down. We got two. He went down. Solo hunt is so rewarding. Man, I could have shot a little better. I should have tripled on that. I thought I was going to. Missed my second shot on the second bird. Dad gummit. But that was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Boy, I know you guys, I cannot wait for dove season. I really don't want to run out there right now because I feel like there's birds going to come. So ready for dove season. Uh, a lot of you guys are probably new to duck and goose and pigeon and dove hunting, okay? Couple things real quick for all my newbies. Yes, I have an extension tube on, yes. No, I cannot use that during dove season, during regular duck and goose season, okay? That is just for pigeon season. And then snow goose conservation season, which starts mid-February. Know your laws, know your rules, know your regs, uh, and know, and be ethical. Let's be ethical out here. Another group coming from the back. Whew. Here's that long shooter. Uh, another juvenile pigeon. He went down way out here. Good 100, 120 yards probably. 130 yards. Uh, but right now it's at 7. Oh no. No. Darn. Ah, there's pigeons right above me. It's right at like 7.15. I was debating on trying to come out here and find him or waiting, and I should have waited because they're all landing on my decoys. Dad gum it. Landing in them. Oh no. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll be able to pluck a few if they come our way. They're just loving the decoys. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, we might get a whack at him right here, though. Come on. Screw it. Anything. And nothing fell. Sweet. Oh, one thing about it, pick up your shells, guys. Pick them up. 
Ah, dad gum. Bob, you're something, I'll tell you. Never fails. I contemplated for 10 minutes whether I should leave the blind and go get that bird or not. The two minutes it took me to get it, there was probably 15 that landed in it. That whole group that I shot at, they all landed twice. Here we go. Three of them getting in here. Go down. That one might go down. Ah, let's see if he's gonna go down. Might come back. Yeah, well, there he is. He got smashed. That is, that's the oldest bird that we have killed yet and he's still pretty young. Well, one more on the board. Not bad for a pure traffic hunt. Uh, the way they're doing it, I can certainly tell they have not been feeding in this field ever since we hunted it the last time. So, not too bad, I don't know. We got six or seven down. Single coming in all by himself. That was beautiful. I was debating on letting them land and doing another ground pound, but that was too pretty. I was just debating on picking up and going out and taking my thumbnail and going and trying to find the large feed of pigeons. But man, if they're gonna come back and do that in singles, I better not move my rump. Wow. That, that was beauty. Doesn't get any better than that. Just being patient. Oh, here's another group. Let, here's another group coming. Letting the bird just decoy when you can tell they like it. Let them, let them keep doing it, you know. Coming over the top right here. Can I snipe one? They're really high. Well, they are definitely headed back to town from feed. If y'all are new to these hunts, uh, I am not out on a farm where there's pigeons on a cattle farm or coming out of silos. These pigeons that we're shooting are coming from the city, from my hometown. They're coming from the heart of the city uh, because we have a huge amount of large abandoned buildings. Not only abandoned, but uh, our downtown is really, really old and the pigeons have just made it their home over the last hundred years. So they come out to feed, especially after the wheat's cut, like right now. This is a cut wheat field and then the farmer dissed it. He just worked it under. Uh, has not been planted yet, uh, but this time of year, this is when you uh, get some really good shoots because they come out, they know that wheat's cut, uh, abundant food source. You know Kansas, we're known for our wheat. So it's everywhere, Every about 80% of the fields, you know what I mean? Pretty sure a guy just stopped on the highway and said, I watch your stuff, and then peeled off pretty hard. <laughs> Here's some pigeons. High shooter? Anybody a high shooter? Mm, a little high yet. They are headed back to town now. Almost 100% sure that's what he said. I watch your stuff. Warm. <laughs> What's up, guy? Hey, if that was you, drop a comment down below. Let, let, let us know who you were. Nice to meet you, bud. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, another two more down. Three total. 
やいよ <laughs> I let him work. That was perfect, Bob. Good work. Oh, just let him work and they were they got really tight one time. I should have shot when they were a little tighter, but I busted a beauty. Look at this bird right here. Look at this. Black bird. That's a beauty. Still a young, young bird. Yeah, three birds. Just got done running my butt off. I found one of the two that I downed on the left side. I'm gonna have to go search for the other one. The one that I didn't find, I think it had white wing tips. Uh, but another two down for sure. Gotta find the third. Uh, that first bird I smacked was a black one and we have a red one down. So there's two to three special, uh, just beautiful birds on the ground so far. Should be right at about 10 birds. Not bad, it's sitting at 754. So if you guys are asking, man, uh, early, early, early mornings and uh, early, early evenings is uh, when pigeons feed like this. I don't know, I really don't know if mornings or evenings are better uh, than the other, but about all I know. <laughs> While we're sitting here, I've just been thinking these good hunts like this really take me back to why and when I started the hunting channel. Sorry, the YouTube channel. Um, just reminds me like you should love hunting, you know what I mean? Don't ever uh, think you have to hunt, don't make it a contest. It should be, it should be fun, you know, a lot of fun. If it isn't fun, then you shouldn't be doing it or you should just take a break from it. Um, I've heard a lot of guides, you know, be like, man, I just burned out. I need to take a break. And I've heard of guys uh, taking a year or two break and uh, they come back refreshed and better than ever. Um, so if you're ever guiding or if it's, if it's your job, take a break, come back to it. Uh, me, for example, waterfowl hunting, uh, wing shooting like this is the heartbeat of the channel. Uh, that being said, in uh, the summer months like this, I'm sure you guys can imagine, and I know you guys hear me complain about it every now and then, but man, you really don't understand how hard it is on me during the summer not being able to hunt, provide videos for you that I know you guys are going to love, and just uh, do videos that I love as well. Believe me, I love the magnet fishing. And the pigeon trapping and whatnot but there is nothing better than getting out on a good field water hunt and providing some information for y'all and learning along the way i think that's why i've learned so much in the past five years is because i taught you guys what i learned every single step of the way talked about it verbally communicated you know to you guys in the comment section a bunch i have learned so much i just want to say thank you guys for being here with the season approaching Bobby's gonna have a smile on his face a lot more. I'm hoping we get one more go at him here before we gotta pack up. There's a duck, Ma hen mallard. That's what I was gonna say. If uh, you're new to uh, duck hunting, goose hunting, and your whole group is like all your buddies or your uncle or your family, or, your, or your, you and your buddies are trying to discover a channel where you're gonna learn a bunch tell all your buddies about it please share this video um, a lot of information I've done almost 800 videos like 730 or something uh, there's hundreds hundreds of not only hunts where I teach you everything along the way but also just straight up how-to videos uh, for you to go back and watch go back and check them out a ton of information I get a lot of questions like Bob can you please do a video over small public duck hunting I'm like man I've done probably five of them things so just go back and check out all the old videos because it's full of information that the beginner and maybe even the advanced guy can use <sighs> well just started picking up I don't know 
what happened. I'm gonna look back at the shot cam footage. I could have like 100% swore that I smoked a beautiful red bird. And it's nowhere out here. I, I like pounded it right here where these feathers were and I hit it so hard that I was like, oh, I ain't even gonna go look at it. I'll go check it out later. It's beautiful. Nothing, what the heck? The closest thing I have, maybe I, my eye really saw this bird. This guy has some red in his feathers like you can see there. See that, that red coloring? Man, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could have swore I shot a red bird. And then there's that white winged bird that must have fluttered into the neighbor's property. And I cannot, I have been looking and looking. So essentially, I thought it was 12, but we ended up with 10. Not a bad shoot, right? I mean, getting back out here, loving it, loving it, watching the sun come up. Beautiful morning, a little east wind. Uh, so I had the sun at my back all morning long. Uh, made it for really, really, really good shooting. I did not need my sunglasses today or anything, but I didn't get to really show you the spread here. I set it much, much tighter than usual, uh, just because I just wanted to make it more lifelike. What I seen, I was just trying to match the hatch. Uh, when I seen them in here, they're there really condensed out here so i think it worked for the most part uh the amount of birds that did not give me a look was a lot um we really didn't shoot much of any adult birds to be quite honest all of them right there are all young just like when i started off the video i'm like i know we'll have a chance of shooting at least one young bird but every one of them oh ricky dog what are you doing man <laughs> that boy's been sleeping that's what he's been doing uh-huh well i got my mess my breakfast editing uh-huh good sunday morning uh happy sunday to y'all i hope y'all are having a blessed day uh but what a hunt i just figured i would close it right here for y'all just me and old fred down in the dungeon where we edit I uh, just want to let you guys know, the wing shooting videos are back. Uh, by mid-August, you guys are going to have one of the first uh, North Dakota honker hunts where we're going up north to North Dakota. I cannot wait. Great group of guys that we have going up. Uh, it's going to be an awesome trip. And I'm going to vlog the whole experience just like usual, tell you what we're doing, the ins and outs, the ups and downs, uh, the wins and losses. So be sure uh, to come with us on that trip. Tell everybody... Yo, you got to get back on Bobby Guy Films because the season is here and it's popping, y'all. We're back at it. Like, this is prime time, you know. Like, this is before the season actually, like, pops off. So, the tension just builds up and, ah, got a lot of uh, game fairs happening, events. Everybody's just getting excited. So, I hope uh, you guys go tell all your buddies, your dads, your everybody's saying we need to start watching bobby guy films because the season is getting ready to crack open but like i said i will link that free podcast down below a lot of you have checked it out already i appreciate it and i uh, really appreciate uh all of you that have actually joined the podcast i really really from the bottom of my heart say thank you and i appreciate it be expecting at least one more pigeon hunt coming y'all's way i got it in the vault uh, as well as me and old P Diddy, uh, we got a new new boat video coming out for y'all. You guys love the last one, so. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when I upload. It is not an annoying notification. No, it doesn't give you a sound. It just pops up on your little phone and then you can swipe it away. It's not bad. But thank y'all for being here yet again. Have a great Sunday. Until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.